Meanwhile, here on the peninsula, North Korea launched an intercontinental ballistic missile earlier this morning, hours ahead of the scheduled summit between South Korea and Japan. Our defense correspondent Kim Hyun-sung has details. North Korea's fourth show of force in a week. North Korea fired another ballistic missile off to the East Sea, and this time it was a long-range missile. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff confirmed on Thursday morning. It was fired at a high angle and flew about 1,000 kilometers east. Japan's defense ministry said that the missile traveled for about 69 minutes and reached a maximum altitude of 6,000 kilometers. It added that the missile landed around 250 kilometers west of Japan's Oshima Island in Hokkaido Prefecture. Analysts gather from the flight data that this could be an intercontinental ballistic missile likely the Hwasong-17. The Hwasong-17 is North Korea's largest nuclear-capable missile to date. Last year, Japanese Defense Minister Yasukazu Hamada mentioned that this weapon has the capability to reach the U.S. mainland with a potential range of 15,000 kilometers. But South Korea's military officials said that although this launch does bear some similarities to the Hwasong-17, they also did find some differences that could suggest otherwise, although these details cannot be disclosed at the moment. If this test did involve an ICBM, this would mark North Korea's seventh successful ICBM test since 2017. North Korea's latest weapons test comes on the day of South Korea and Japan's bilateral summit and before President Yoon suk yeol embarked on his two-day visit to Tokyo. Their timing hints that North Korea is disgruntled by the rekindled relationship between Seoul and Tokyo. This is to prevent and rally against the strengthened trilateral alliance between South Korea, the U.S. and Japan. They think that this could pose a greater threat to their regime. The National Security Council on Thursday morning responded to North Korea's recent threats. National Security Advisor Kim song an held an emergency standing committee with key players, including President Yoon suk yeol before his flight. President Yoon said at this meeting that North Korea's reckless threats will have clear repercussions and called on the allies to step up their joint drills. Kim Hyun-sung, Arirang News.